Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today I want to demonstrate to you how to make coral model polyp. I have a jar of Play-Doh here. Now, if you don't have Play-Doh, any type of clay or something like that would work. And it doesn't matter what color. I have green and I have, this is kind of a really pretty light blue color. So what you're going to do is take your Play-Doh out of the jar. And I like to just split mine in half, just like this. I'll put the rest of it back in the jar for right now. Right, take your Play-Doh and roll, roll it into a nice ball. You can work it a little bit between your hands. Feels good, doesn't it? Okay, now that you've got it into a ball, I want you to take your fingers and make it into almost like a cylinder, like a rectangle. Just about like this. Can you see what I'm making here? Now, once you've got that done, what I want you to do is take the end and hold it like this, just like this. And then you're gonna take your thumb and place your thumb down the middle and make a hole just like that, straight down the middle like that, holding the base like this. Starting to look almost like a little flower, isn't it? Okay, now that you've got it built like this, take it with your two, take these two fingers, your thumb and your first finger, and kind of pinch it and open up the face of that. Just like that, kind of almost making a cup. Push it down here a little bit. Okay, does everyone have something that looks like that? Here's the next step. You're gonna take your three fingers your thumb and your first two fingers. And you're gonna take it and pinch it, just like that. And then turn it and take another section and pinch it, just like that. Take another section and pinch it. Guess what these are? I'm forming the tentacles of a little coral polyp. See, a coral polyp, polyp has a nice, soft little body its stomach is down here inside. And then on the top of the stomach is the coral polyp's little mouth right here. This is where it feeds. Now these represent the tentacles. So the tentacles, I'm just gonna push them up here a little ways. The tentacles sting at the end. And as the little plankton flows through the water, these little tentacles reach up and try to grab the plankton. If they sting the plankton, the plankton gets caught on the little nettles on the ends here, and then the coral polyp slowly drops the plankton down into its mouth like this. So the coral polyp is alive and it depends partially on that small, those small little zooplankton's krills to grab and eat. And that, my friends, is a model of a little coral polyp. Now, if you can see this, I'm gonna turn the computer down a little ways. I've created here on this board, what I like to say is the floor bed of a coral reef. I have a large starfish. Now, this is some dead coral that I have in my from my house. I have some shells here I've placed, some other shells, another starfish, a much larger piece of stag coral. Earlier today, I made some other little coral polyps. So the little coral polyps that are the same color will probably be from the same colony because they like to hang out together. So I'm gonna put those together. Now, if we were in the classroom, after everyone finished, I'd ask you all to go find your colony. So you would go in the classroom and find everyone that had like a light blue Play-Doh coral polyp that they had made and everyone would get together. Then, the exciting part, we would head outside. So I'm gonna stop this video, and in just a minute, I'm gonna meet you outside. Hi guys, it's me again. I'm outside, and Mr. Pop and Connor are here with me. They are the coral polyps today. Okay guys, put your little tentacles up. We're gonna pretend like they're two coral polyps 
in a coral reef. And I am going to have the plankton. The plankton is going to flow through the water past the little coral polyps, small little coral polyps, and they are going to catch it. But what I'm using is Rice Krispies, because guess what? Rice Krispies look just like little plankton in the ocean. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Catch the coral, catch the plankton, little polyps. You can open your mouth to catch them too. <laughs> oh, good. Connor caught some. Come on, Mr. Pop. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Remember, this is all you get to eat all day. Okay, you guys, do you think the coral polyps would have enough to eat just relying upon the plankton in the ocean? I hope you said no, because you're correct. Let's try it one more time. Come on, coral polyps. This little coral pop's tentacles aren't working. <laughs> Catch it, coral polyps. Catch it. All right. Okay, you guys, I think that's all these little coral polyps can handle today. Thank you, and I'll continue on with the lesson in just a minute.